Here are the three solutions written in logarithmic form. Nice work if you got all three right. Now, some of these were tough, so it's okay if you didn't get all of them right. Let's walk through each of them. For the first one, we'll have our base be 10, and we'll have our answer be 5. When we take the log with base 10 of some number, we'll get 5. It means that this number must be 100,000. The log base 10 of 100,000 equals 5. It's the power that we raise 10 to in order to get 100,000. For the second one, we'll use the same process. We have a base of 4, so this is the logarithm with a base 4. The result of our logarithm equals negative 3. It's the exponent. And this leaves 1 64th here as the argument for our logarithm. It's the number that we take the logarithm of. And finally, for the last one, we use the same technique. Our base of our logarithm is 2, since this base is 2. The result of our logarithm is x. This is the exponent. And we're taking log base 2 of the number 3 to get x. Now keep in mind in this last equation, we weren't really solving for x. We were just trying to write this in logarithmic form. It turns out that this number x is really equal to log base 2 of 3. Now the logarithm in your calculator can't get this number. The log in your calculator has a base of 10. But there are other ways to get bases of 2. We won't cover that in this course, but if you're interested, do some research.